I'm Gina with From the Ground Up Floral and today I'm going to show you how to tape off a vase for an arrangement. Um, so we're going to start, this is the Nora vase by Accent Decor. Um, all of the stuff I'm using today you can find in the links below if you're interested and um, I'll also include links for this awesome little Lazy Susan which makes designing super easy. All right. So we're going to start, this is our tape that we use, um, this is a tape by Oasis, it's just the clear transparent tape, that way um, you don't see it when you um, tape it, sometimes you know if you use the other kinds of tape you can see it, and this is a lot thinner than like just regular masking tape or anything like that, um, so it's easier to make a grid than it would be like with just regular tape. Alright, so what I'm doing, we are getting it stuck to the sides here, and I'm going to just start by making three lines with the tape, um, coming down probably like a little less than a half an inch. Um, I'll show you in a second. It probably wasn't the best choice of cutting a utensil. the three. I don't have anything else to cut with right now. Okay. So I made three lines across. <clears throat> and when you're storing your tape, uh, for less frustration in the future, um, you know, you always say to yourself, like, future self, this little technique right here saves so much time um, and if you're a really nice person you can do that to like the packing tape or the tape in the junk drawer you know just to be nice and help everybody out <laughs> I say that because we had a tape incident recently where my husband could not find the end of the tape for a package um, so it helps a lot to keep it like that uh, all right so we have the three I don't know if you can see very well, but I've taped across just three lines and the tape probably comes down about the width of my finger. So about there, so that you get some grip on the side, um, but it's not enough that you're going to like really see it. <clears throat> uh, and then we're going to go and tape the other direction. You may not need to do three across on the other direction. Um, I would probably just do two. This vase isn't as big or wide, so you may not need to do that. So we're taping. And um, I always. make sure that I tape off my vases before I add the water just because this tape isn't waterproof um, and if you you know like I did I was having a problem cutting it like if it sloshes up and hits your tape uh, it's not gonna stick so it's kind of frustrating to have to stop dry off the vase and then go back to taping so I, I usually just tape it before I add the water um, that way I don't have to deal with wet tape so you can see what I've done is I've added two more pieces of tape across to make the grid. So now you have a nice structure that's going to hold your stems in place when you start adding stems. Um, and it really helps kind of grid off your arrangement. Like it literally will grid your arrangement so you can see where you would add, say, pieces of stems that you want to splay out a little bit more this way. You would put them in this direction coming out instead of like in the middle um, really helps. All right, so now we want to add our water since we've got this taped off. And I did already add a packet of flower food, um, which is really important. A lot of people ask 
if they can just use tap water, it's fine um, to use tap water. Just, you know, stay away from the adding bleach or adding sugar or anything like that because that's going to start breeding bacteria. Um, if you do have flower food, that's the best thing to add because it's actually designed to keep your flowers alive. Uh, it has an antibacterial in it, so you'll have less gross water. Um, but you still need to make sure you change your stems. I mean, you still make to, need to make sure you change the water in the vase for your stems. And the water temperature does matter. So if you're going to let it dissolve, I would probably recommend getting your water back to room temperature if you're using hot water. Um, because your stems are going to react to hot or cold water. Um, some stems really like hot water, some stems do not, and they will just open up very quickly. Um, so that, you know, as long as the water is room temperature, you're probably good. All right, so we've added the water, and now we're going to get design. 